Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, God, you dwell within my heart.
praise the Lord, praise the Lord. My dear friends, welcome to this 113th episode of the Catechism of Catholic Church Study. Today is a great feast day of all saints. Saints, All Saints Day, 1st of November 2024. Let us thank and praise God. Let us thank and praise God. And it has a meaning for us, those who are learning the Catechism. We know all the saints, all the saints surely learned and believed united with the church. So they become saint because they not only loved Jesus, they loved the church and they were adored with the teaching of the church. So let us thank and praise God for that. And these days there is a big challenge or this is given to us in a very beautiful way as a feed a deposit as the deposit of faith so that every believer should learn this every believer should study this and every believer should proclaim this so that this Saintly teaching may benefit all others and when we do this it also will transmit through internally into our children and to our grandchildren as it is written in Isaiah 59.21. My dear friends, let us also sing the Veni Creator Spiritus.
praise the Lord, praise the Lord. As once on Christ the servants had the oil of sevenfold grace you shed, so now anoint from Lao's deep springs your chosen prophets, priests and kings. Amen. Now we go for the prophecy. Let us pray for the prophecy. Let us pray for the prophecy. How many of you want the prophecy? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Shara hala 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 hala. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray for more Holy Spirit, more anointing of the Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit. Praise you, Holy Spirit. Shandala Shandala Halabala 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 Shala Marakira, Shala Makara Makara Kira, Lami Alamara. Oh, my beloved people. Oh, my beloved people. I have anointed you. I have anointed you. I have empowered you. I have given you my mysteries of my salvation. The greatest mystery of my salvation is in believing in the righteousness. The righteousness and justification is given to you freely. You are justified. You are made righteous through my blood. And that is how you experience the Eucharist. When you believe this, it will transmit in you and through you to your family members, your children and grandchildren. When you believe this, then only I can use you to proclaim the kingdom. Shalamara kira labara makara. Shalamara kira marakira. Today I give you extraordinary anointing to understand the mystery of my justification and righteousness. My grace, my mercy is overflowingly poured out to the world through my righteousness. Believe in my righteousness. Believe in my justification. The repentance is important because you don't believe it. Repentance is more important for the matter of Faith that you don't believe it. Shalabakara, Rabbi Alabakara. Repent and believe. I have set you free through my blood. That is the sacrament of Eucharist. Eucharist is the sacrament of my justification. Eucharist is the sacrament of all sacraments. All sacraments come out from the Eucharist. Shalambara kira, labialamara kira, karama. Today I give you an infused wisdom to understand this marvelous mystery of my justification, of my righteousness. I open that 
in a new way particularly all those who have worked hard for my kingdom all those who have suffered for my kingdom yet they don't understand my justification and righteousness oh i bless you i give you that gift to know my righteousness i open the righteousness of my heart into you i open the righteousness of salvation i open the mystery the secret of righteousness into you through an infused wisdom receive it receive it receive it amen 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 praise the lord praise the lord now the healings confirming this prophecy the following healings the first healing is again healing from severe back pain somebody who had a severe back pain back pain is been healed and second second is a person suffering from in pneumonia suffering from pneumonia suffering from pneumonia is being healed and third is neck pain neck pain so first is a back pain healing of the back pain second is pneumonia healing from pneumonia third is suffering from neck pain neck pain praise the lord praise the lord so my dear friends any one of you who have got this healing can confirm it right now 1 2 3 back pain pneumonia neck pain and if not now you can send me a whatsapp message when you receive the healing those who will be watching this in offline you can send me a whatsapp message 00919445 Seven one nine six zero three three. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Dear friends, it may be a little repetition of what we did yesterday. We are now continuing on the part of institution. How is the liturgy celebrated? Signs and symbols, and about the institution of the eucharist 1340 institution by celebrating the last supper with his apostles in the course of the passover meal 
Jesus gave the Jewish Passover its definitive meaning. Its definitive meaning. Jesus is passing over to his father by his death and resurrection. Jesus is passing over to his father by his death and resurrection. The new Passover is anticipated in the supper and celebrated in the Eucharist. Jesus is passing over to his father by his death and resurrection. The new Passover is anticipated in the supper and celebrated in the Eucharist. So this new Passover, the real passion, death and resurrection of Jesus is anticipated in the Last Supper and celebrated in the Eucharist. So that is the institution of the Eucharist which fulfills the Jewish Passover. The Jewish Passover and anticipate the final Passover of the church in the glory of the kingdom. So Jewish Passover is definitely definitive meaning of the Jewish Passover and passing over to his father by his death and resurrection the new Passover which is anticipated in the supper and celebrated in the Eucharist. which fulfills the Jewish Passover and it fulfills the glorious second coming and Passover of the Kingdom. My dear friends, this is a very important aspect of the liturgy. The liturgy the institution of the Eucharist must be understood in a more deeper way. It is also the righteousness of God that God did not consider his sins against us. Romans chapter 5 in Romans chapter 5, I like to read it a little bit, or even chapter 4. Romans chapter 4, 5 says, But when one does not work, yet believes in the one who justifies the ungodly, his faith is credited as righteousness. Pravarti kuda ade, Pabia needi garicuna venidola visuasam needi ai periganica perdon. If the property on the parenother is not the work of mercy, it's not what is mentioned in the book of in the letter of Saint James, it's another. When one does not work, 
yet believes in the one who justifies the ungodly his faith is credited as righteousness so in chapter 5 therefore romans chapter 5 51 says therefore since we have been justified by faith since we have been justified by faith we have peace with god through our lord jesus christ therefore since we have been justified by faith we have peace with god through our lord jesus christ through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand and we boast in hope of the glory of god not only that but we even boast of our afflictions knowing that affliction produces endurance and endurance proven character and proven character hope and hope does not disappoint because the love of god has been poured into our heart through the holy spirit that has been given to us <clears throat> for christ while we were still helpless yet died at the appointed time for the ungodly indeed only with difficulty does one die for a just person though perhaps for a good person one might even find courage to die but god proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners <clears throat> while we were still sinners christ died for us <clears throat> how much more then since we are now justified by his blood how much more then since we are now justified by his blood will we be saved through him from the wrath how much more then since we are now justified by his blood so the blood of the lamb israelites were saved from egypt through the blood of the lamb but how the validity what made the blood of the lamb such a precious power that it did not allow the destroying angel to enter into any of those families houses where the blood of the lamb was stamped it is that is what is written here that the jewish that jesus is passover Jesus gave the Jewish Passover its definitive meaning the Jewish Passover through which originally the Israelites came out from the slavery received its validity only because of Jesus offered himself as a lamb and that lamb that Jesus the son of god the son of man become a penitential offer 
for the whole humanity so that through one man's fault the sin entered entered in the history so that is again romans chapter 5 18 19 says in conclusion just as through one transgression contamination came upon all so through one righteous act a capital and life came to all so that is the righteousness of god when you believe this you receive the righteousness so word 17 says for if by transgression of one person death came to reign through that that one how much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of justification gift of justification Romans chapter 5:17 For if by the transgression of one person death came to reign through that one how much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of justification <coughs> come to reign in life to the one person jesus christ in conclusion just as through one transgression contamination came upon all so through one righteous act acquittal and life came to all acquittal so when we believe in this righteousness we are acquitted we are acquitted we are acquitted now second corinthians second corinthians chapter 3 sorry chapter 5 second corinthians chapter 5 17 says the one who is in christ is a new creation so whoever is in christ is a new creation but the old have passed away behold the new thing have come and all this is from god who has reconciled us to himself to christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation namely god was reconciling the world to himself in christ God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ not counting their trespasses against them and interesting to us the message of reconciliation the message of reconciliation my dear friends so today in the prophecy the lord is promising us he is giving us that infused wisdom to understand this mystery of justification in catechism paragraph 1992 1992 gives us a very important teaching catechism 992 says 
justification has been merited for us by the passion of Christ who offered himself on the cross as a living victim holy and pleasing to God holy and pleasing to God and whose blood has become whose blood has become an instrument of atonement for the sins of all men justification is conferred in baptism the sacrament of faith it confirms us to the righteousness of god who makes us inwardly just by the power of his mercy his purpose is the glory of god and of christ the gift of eternal life once again justification has been merited for us by the passion of christ who offered himself on the cross as a living victim holy and pleasing to god whose blood has become an instrument of atonement for the sin of all men so that is what in romans chapter 5 9 says romans chapter 5 9 says how much more than since we are now justified by his blood will be saved through him from the wrath so my dear friends i would like to conclude here now we heard the prophecy the written prophecy will be sent to you later let us thank god for this mystery of justification now i will once again read today's text 1340 which says once again by celebrating the last supper with the apostles in the course of the passover meal jesus gave the jewish passover its definite meaning thousand years back when the israelites were passed over from the slavery to victory through the blood of the lamb the value of the blood of the lamb happened at that time was an anticipated anticipated power of the blood of jesus who is the eternal lamb can you believe this imagine how powerful and how anticipated power is the capacity of the anticipatory power it has not happened it happened after 1000 years but yet there is an anticipatory power for that event which made the blood of the lamb has a value and through which the israelites got the freedom then how much more we who received through the, as a sacrament the blood of the lamb and the body must be saved through the real presence of the blood and the real presence and also through this passover jesus is passing over to his father by his death and resurrection jesus who was with the father came down as a man now after completing the redeeming mission he is passing over to the father through the death and resurrection in a glorified state 
and when he returned to the father he took the whole humanity in his body and going to the father as a vision chapter 2 6 says he raised us up and taken us up into the right hand of the father so by his death and resurrection the new passover is anticipated in the supper so the last supper is a anticipated effect of his death and resurrection and that is celebrated in the eucharist which fulfills the jewish passover one side and other side it anticipates the final passover of the church in the glory that in the second coming christ will definitely give us a resurrection of the dead and bring the whole humanity into his kingdom oh that is why after the consecration prayer we pray this is the mystery of our faith Christ has died Christ is risen and Christ will come again So my dear friends all what we have learned in these days today and tomorrow as we celebrate the holy eucharist let us experience it Thank you Jesus praise you Lord hallelujah 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 amen 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 god bless you god bless you bye 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 bye